faith is to start with. The Latin root for faith is credo, and it has two meanings. A lot of times folks just talk about one, which is belief. What do you believe to be true? When someone asks, do you have faith? A lot of times it seems they're asking, do you believe in God? We Unitarian Universalists have a much broader understanding of faith. We understand it to include believing in the power of love, grace, mercy, justice. But like many other faith traditions, we also believe that action is an essential part of faith. That's the second part of credo. How do we live out our faith in our daily living? And how do we address the gap between our ideals and our actions in a way that is kind to ourselves, but also helps make the world a better place? I think what's most important to me in my faith experience is it's a continual renewal. It's a daily practice of meeting that space in me that uh, embraces the mystery, trusts it, and then gets dressed and goes on with my day. The idea of community, um, the idea of uh, service, um, fellowship, so those are some key values. Mutual respect is probably for me the most important value, and in a sense of social justice. Life isn't fair and many people get, a, get the wrong end of the stick, and uh, I happen to be very fortunate, so trying to balance out the, the fairness I think is very important. And it's important for me to be with a group of people who feel the same, that, that it's, uh, it's important to try to try to help those who, who are disadvantaged, who haven't had the fair shake, haven't had the shake that I've had. By being considerate of others in the same way that people are of me here and, and, uh, and wanting to, to improve people's lives in the be best way I can. Tiny little things you do on a daily basis that give somebody a, a feeling of, of, uh, of acceptance. What's it if somebody's talking and not like in, like ignore them as it's speaking to me. What else? What about at home with your mom and dad? Mm. What's it to be a good boy? Don't steal candy. Being a good friend and a good family member. A lot of it is just making connection. Um, for me it's important to try to be active in how I participate uh, in the different communities I'm part of. Um, in my neighborhood, I try to make sure that I make connections with neighbors, um, friends, parents of my children, um, the teachers at the school, uh, making connection with them, touching base, seeing how they're doing. Um, here at church, uh, definitely trying as much as possible to you know, reach out to connect with the different people that I work with on, whether it be communities or fellow parents or um, leaders in the church. I, to me, it's, it's just being active and, and making those connections. So many things are really learning opportunities, and the point would be to learn as much as you can from that experience so that you're able to do it better the next time, and that you're able to um, appreciate it more. I think I, I stop and try and prioritize spending time with other people. And it doesn't it doesn't need to be any particular kind of time. It you know, maybe just going out to dinner with someone or, you know, sitting with my wife on the couch for a few minutes or going to church and or doing yoga and just connecting with other people uh, to remind me that I'm not alone, that I don't have to do it alone. And really that I can't do it alone. That life is too complex and I think too beautiful to, uh, to go it